Okay, this is Bruce Brown um, of Elam.org and uh, another site, um, diarms.com. And I want to talk very, very frankly about a certification called the CISSP, which is Certified Information Systems Security Professional, which I have. I've been in the industry of information system security for a very long time, 20 years or something like that. Um, and I just want to say that um, just because you have a CISSP doesn't mean you know everything. Um, the industry has kind of changed since I've been in. It used to be that if you got a CISSP, it was a very, very big deal. It was like getting passing the bar or something. Uh, it <laughs> it's not. First of all, it's not at all like passing the bar. Bar and that stuff's way harder. Uh, but it is a you know it's a big deal for system security professionals because it's one of the highest uh, security certifications you can get. Um, and unfortunately, the certification I think my personal opinion has been watered down because there's a lot of people who don't know what the hell they're doing to have it. Uh, you may be one of them. No offense, you know you can always go out and learn stuff. You know it's not that just you know just put in the work. <laughs> Anyway, uh, there's a lot of people also who throw their title around, which I'm not a big fan of. You know, it's not like you're a doctor or something. Uh, just because you have the cert doesn't mean you know anything. And their CISSP is a shame. That being said, should you get the certification? Yes, absolutely you should get the certification. And I'm going to tell you why. Number one is you get instant credibility. Just by having that on your title, Instant credit. Do you deserve it? Probably not. Oh, oh, here, look, they give you these cool little cards. So, instant credibility when you get a uh, CISSP. Uh, number two is it's like something like a $15,000 raise a year. So, who doesn't want that? You know, thousand plus dollars going more. And, you know, you can get a job with that title alone. You know, in some cases, you don't even need a degree. You just walk in with that title and you you get fifteen thousand more dollars a year and um it, even if you're at a company and you you get that cissp you can actually be eligible for a high level position so um or more pay you know and if they don't you can actually just go somewhere else and they'll pay you more fifteen thousand twenty thousand dollars more a year for that certification alone is it over is it overly done in my opinion in some cases it is, you know, credibility really depends on a person's uh, work ethic and how, how much they know, how much experience they have. I'm just being perfectly, perfectly honest with you. Not all CSSPs know what, they, what they're doing. But if you're thinking about getting one, if you're torn between that and a Security Plus, get both, I would say. You know, Security Plus isn't even close to a CISSP. Get the CAP. There's one called the CAP Certified uh, Authorization Professional. That's also a good one for your risk management system security risk management guy or anything like that that's a very good certification it also gives you a little bit of cash in your pocket uh, not quite at the same level as a CISSP but it's very focused on one discipline so it's good what do you need to become a CISSP well there's the test okay the test is not easy for me it wasn't easy I'm being perfectly honest with you it was a hard test it was the hardest test I have ever taken and I took tons of tests in the military I took tons of tests the hardest test ever and I know some people that went in took the test in three hours two hours one hour 30 minutes and they claim you know get a hundred percent or whatever you know but me no it took me the full six hours it's a six hour test and it took me five hours and 30 minutes to do that test because I was sweating every single question and I keep in mind at that time I had I already had five years of experience you know a solid five years where I was doing everything from routers to switches to firewalls to and I knew every aspect of those things you know hands-on and I still struggled with it and I was even doing like system security plans and all that kind of stuff and it was hard for me you know I'm not gonna lie it was a hard test because the questions are very abstract and that's why I struggled with it but I ended up doing pretty good it's got about a 70 percent pass rate and and a lot of people take it end up taking it two or three times to pass it um, I studied it for a year because I was so paranoid and, and even during the test I was paranoid too 
and um, it's six hundred dollars to take the test, but it's worth it because, like I said, you got twenty thousand, fifteen thousand uh, dollars raise. You know, potentially, potentially. If you're already making a crap load of money, then probably you're not going to get that raise. But you can get the prestige of having owning that CISSP. Other things, um, it's two hundred and fifty multiple choice uh, questions, uh, multiple choice type questions. Uh, you've got to score about seventy percent. Um, there's 10 different domains, I believe. There's still 10 domains. I'm not totally sure. And they range from very some technical, not super technical because it's not a very specific test. It's not like a CCNA where they're, they're asking you actual router commands or something. It's more like um, uh, what would you do in if, if this happened in this kind of situation. Um, You've got to have five years of experience in in in, in one of the domains, uh, or two of the at least two of the domains. You have to have at least five years ex total experience, and uh, or you can have a degree, a four-year degree, and four years of experience. After you pass the test, the very hard test, um, and they've got boot camps and stuff for you to take. They're kind of expensive, but. Uh, you take the boot camps, and I didn't do any of that. I just took a book and studied every part of it and um, took notes on the entire book, and that's how I passed it. But that took a year. So uh, everybody has their own study, methods of studying. Probably, I wouldn't take a year. I mean, uh, probably going back, I wouldn't have. I don't think it should take a year to, to study it, you know. I know some people who took who studied for a month and went and took it and passed it. So uh, I was just really paranoid. Anyway, what other things do you need? Um, so ethics, code of ethics, it's a, you've got to pay the $600, I think it's $599, to uh, take the 250-question test. Let's say after you pass it, that's where we were. After you pass the test, um, you've got to get endorsed by someone. Like one of your peers, uh, ex-coworkers, they can endorse you. They have to already have a CISSP basically saying this guy's is cool, you know, this guy's this guy's awesome. And then and that's pretty easy to find. You you know, you 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 wouldn't you don't have to sweat that, you have to sweat the test. <laughs> so um, somebody endorses you and then after that you've got your endorsement, you've passed the test, you've paid the money, um, everything's done. Actually the it's this never actually ends because you have to maintain the CISSP. You have to maintain the CISSP every three years you're supposed to get um, what's called CPEs or continuing professional education uh, credits. And essentially it's like making sure that you maintain your knowledge level because this is a very, it's a fast growing field is always changing, always evolving. So only want to make sure that you have the knowledge you need to continue to be a professional in this career field. And um, so you got to get like 120 CPEs, I think a minimum of 40 a year, but a total of 120 CPEs at the end of three years. And then there's an $85 fee each year of an annual maintenance fee. And, and some people complain about that. Me, it's just 85 bucks, man. I mean, if you're making, if you made an additional five grand from having the CISSP, you can't spare $85 to maintain it. I don't understand why people cry about that, but it's fine with me. And also, it, it uh, keeping up with the C CPEs is a good way to keep on studying, you know, which most of us in this field do anyway. So that's it. Um, do I recommend the CISSP? I absolutely recommend it. Um Hello, this is Bruce Brown. I have been doing information system security for a very long time, about 20 years. And um, I got into this career field from being actually doing physical security. I was a security police officer in in the Air Force. So what I want to talk to you today about is becoming